back to Cuban with a Twist. Uh, today we're making pan con bisté. We started out with some fillets we, we got from the butcher. I had them cut nice and thin, uh, approximately about a third of an inch. I seasoned them with the lysanders on both sides. They have been sitting out for about two or three hours at room temperature. Okay. I have had some questions uh, on Cuban bread. Living outside of uh, South Florida, it's very difficult to get Cuban bread. I know that there's some websites that you can actually order it and have it delivered to your home. A, a great other option is a French bread, although it's a little bit more crispier and falls apart a little bit more. I um, sometimes use that, and other times I will buy the take and bake bread at the local grocery store. Okay, it's a French bread but it's a take and bake, you make it at home. So we're going to start off with that. We're going to add a little olive oil to it. Okay. Cover it with the olive oil. And I want to slice it right down the middle. I'm going to do the same with the other. And then we can put this in the oven for approximately 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the strength of your oven. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. You just want to add a little bit of olive oil to your pan. We're going to saute some onions. If you're able to get one of these spouts, you can pick it up at a Bed Bath & Beyond, at any kind of culinary store. It's really fantastic. It'll control the, the flow of the olive oil so you're not over pouring. Okay, we're just going to chop these up like this because we're just going to saute them. We actually want them to be like long strings. We're going to cover the, the steak. Okay, nice and long and thin. Okay. Pot should be at a nice temperature now. We're going to saute them until they're translucent. We don't want them to burn or overcook. I'm going to move them around. I'm going to lower the temperature to about a four and a half. And we're going to continue to move them. Okay, as you can see, the onions are getting a nice color. Now we're going to add the steak to it. And you want it to sizzle like that. Never put steak on a cold pot. It doesn't cook well. You want it to always have that sizzle when you're putting it down. Now we're going to cook these about five to six minutes on each side. So they're a little bit more than medium. Okay, the steaks are ready. As you can see, they've got a nice color to them. The onions are nice and translucent. They're moist, which is really what you want. Try never to overcook steak. You should never cook more than, you know, five to seven minutes on each side. Okay, we're going to put those aside because you want the steak to sit for at least three minutes or so. I'm going to put that over here. We're going to start slicing our bread and our tomatoes. Okay, as you can see, the bread has got a nice golden brown. It's crispy in the top, soft in the middle. Comparable to Cuban bread, obviously not the same thing, but we have to do with what we got. So I'm going to slice it in half. It's a little bit hot still. And open it down the middle. Have it open. You can see it's nice and soft inside really the consistency that we want. Now that I've sliced the bread, I'm going to start slicing the tomato. I'm going to take the tip off. Just thin slices, you know, to your taste. too big for the sandwich. There we go. 
Our steaks have been sitting for approximately three minutes or so, so the juices are nice. Um, let's get one more in there. on this one. I'm going to take the steak, place it over the tomato, cover it with a little bit of onions, Top it with some pixie sticks. This you can find at any local grocery store. It just gives it a little bit of a crunch, adds a whole lot of flavor. And there you go, pan con bite. I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, please send a message through our Facebook or through our Twitter. Thank you again. That's Cuban with a twist. See you soon.